Hey everyone, Captain Kristen Beowulf, F-35A demo pilot. Today we're going to be talking about the half cuban eight. The first maneuver we do during a high show routine is called the half cuban eight. It's intended to show the impressive maneuverability immediately after takeoff as the jet is heavy weight. After accelerating to 350 knots, I pull the nose to six degrees nose high, and then at 2,000 feet above the ground, I pull the stick full aft to command maximum nose rotation over the top of the maneuver. As the jet is now pointing downhill, I roll upright again, completing half of a figure eight towards the show center, which is why it's called the half cuban eight. The dedication is simply an arcing pass from crowd left to right or vice versa. Just below the speed of sound at 0.95 Mach and 300 feet above ground, it's the only pass that starts from behind the crowd. The dedication is meant to give the crowd the best view and pictures of the top side plan form of the jet. And if we're lucky, depending on environmentals that day, it's one of the best passes to see tons of vape coming off the top of the air. The high speed pass is just below the speed of sound at 0.95 Mach, which is approximately 650 knots or 750 miles per hour. After passing the crowd, I pull the nose to pure vertical for the quick climb, rapidly decelerating to 150 knots and climbing over 10,000 feet in just a few seconds. One of the key characteristics of the F-35 is stealth. Depending on which type of mission we're flying, if we want to maintain our stealthy signature, we have all of the weapons inside the weapon bays. This pass simply gives the crowd a glimpse inside the weapon phase, which can each fit a 2,000 pound bomb and an air-to-air -air missile, the AMRAAM pass. Still one of my favorite maneuvers during the routine, the eye-to-eye -eye or inverted-to-inverted -inverted pass is an upside-down pass straight and level in front of the crowd. Starting at 300 feet above ground, I pop the nose up slightly and then perform an unloaded roll until wings level inverted. I push the stick forward to maintain level flight inverted, which equates to negative 1G which means I'm hanging upside down in the seat straps. The opposing rolls pass consists of three 360 degree aileron rolls and a straight and level pass in front of the crowd. Entering at 400 knots and 300 feet above ground, I pop the nose up slightly, execute an unloaded full lateral stick roll, ending upright after 360 degrees of roll. Immediately after, I reverse the roll in the other direction, and then finally one more roll in the opposite direction. Always a crowd pleaser, the pedal turn is one of the more impressive maneuvers that shows off the flight control system on the F-35. After pulling the nose to pure vertical, I pull the stick full aft and laterally left or right in the direction of the pedal turn. I simultaneously put full pedal in the direction of the turn as well, which commands yaw from the flight control computers. Based on those commands from the stick and pedal, the F-35's flight control logic determines the best combination of flight control surfaces to execute this high AOA and maximum yaw maneuver. The minimum radius turn is exactly what it sounds. It's intended to show how quickly the jet can turn and to show how small of a turn radius is required to complete the 360 degree level turn. Entering just over 400 knots, the jet finishes the turn in about 15 seconds. and then I immediately pull the nose to pure vertical for the lightning loop maneuver. At just over 3,000 feet above ground, I pull full aft on the stick to command maximum nose rotation over the top and show how quickly the jet can point its nose using the high AOA capability. For the square loop maneuver, we try to show the jet's rapid maneuvering capabilities while transcribing a square of the sky. Starting a loop in the pure vertical, I then pull the jet's nose over to hold inverted flight across the top. Again, pull the nose to pure vertical straight down. And finally, recover to level flight, completing the last side at square. It's not just comic book superheroes who have advanced tech to take out enemies. The F-35 Lightning II is a groundbreaking fighter aircraft that called for a groundbreaking pilot interface. In this case, it's a new helmet that takes flying and fighting to a whole new level. The new design takes the heads-up display that's usually projected on glass at the front of the cockpit and projects it onto the helmet's visor. There's built-in night vision too, so no need to add separate hardware for night operations. It's also more comfortable for the wearer since it's made to custom fit each individual pilot. 
measuring things like the horizontal and vertical alignment of pupils and eye spacing, ensures a proper fit and keeps that built-in HUD looking sharp. Another cool trick, the visor displays a 360-degree digital view of what's going on around the aircraft. So when a pilot looks down, they'll see through the aircraft floor and know what's below. All this tech is packed into a helmet that weighs only five pounds. Hey guys, so I'm here with Bob Rubino, who's the director of the F-35 program here in Washington, D.C. Now, sir, as I understand, you're a former pilot yourself. I flew F-18s in the Navy a long time ago. Well, something they probably didn't have back in your day is this piece of equipment right here. Can you tell me what we're looking at? This helmet isn't anything close to what I ever flew with. It is cool. This thing has the ability to take all of the world around it and put it on the pilot's visor, and that gives the pilot the ability to look through the aircraft. Sir, that sounds awesome. Do you mind if I try it on? All yours. All right. So now you have the real helmet that pilots are flying today on the F-35, and you can see what it looks like and what they see. And you have real footage of the world around you in the infrared spectrum that gives you the ability to turn night into day. And if I were to look down, I can basically see right through the airplane as if it's kind of like x-ray vision. That's exactly right. All right, sir, if you don't mind, I'd like to go over to the F-35 demonstrator and uh, give that a try. Let's go do it and show everybody how easy this airplane is to fly. All right. All right, sir. So here we are inside the demonstrator. What can you tell me about the screen? Well, so welcome to the most advanced cockpit ever designed for a fighter aircraft. And you can see this is a little bit different probably than other fighter aircraft that you've seen before. You have two touch screens, what I like to say, they're almost like two iPads that you have with you here. The other neat thing about this cockpit is it's voice activated. So you almost have like a Siri working for you. Well, what exactly are we looking at here on this screen? It looks like a, a tower on the ground. Your job is to take out the control power of the enemy airfield. As you can see, it's uh, showing up as a target here. All right, well, I'm ready to put some warheads on foreheads right now, sir. Well, I think it says in range, and I like your, your, your mentality, so feel free to push the pickle button. You'll see the internal weapon bay door open up. There goes uh, the doors, doors open, bombs away. Feel free to drop a second one if you really like to. There's the first bomb hitting. Impact, well done. As you're coming off the target, the guys you just bombed, there were some guys that did survive and are now radioed to the fighter aircraft that were in the area that there's somebody out here. So they're starting to look for you and there's a couple of bad guy airplanes that you need to go take out. Now the beauty about the F-35 that the Marine Corps is gonna love is it's gonna give you the ability of having what we like to call first look first shot and first kill. And that's what stealth brings to the pilot. All right, sir. Well, it looks like mission complete. So thank you for showing me the Corps' newest aviation technology. It's lethal, it's survivable. You're able to execute the mission and come back and land on the L-Class carrier in a very simple and easy way. Well done. The F-35's advanced aviation technology and stealth capabilities make it the best fighter jet in the sky.